This is 5-Minute Power Platform, and today we're going to use Power Apps Mixed Reality to build an app that will virtually take us to New York City. And so let's start here by um, creating a new app. It's going to be a phone-sized app. I'm going to call it NYC to me, New York City to me. And once we get to the canvas, then we'll start by uh, setting up landscape mode and turning on mixed reality and such. So here from the canvas, we'll go to the File menu. We'll set an icon up, gray background color, but I've got a custom icon as well. And we'll load up that custom icon. And then under screen size and orientation, we're going to choose landscape and apply that. And then under advanced settings, we're going to turn on the mixed reality experimental mode feature. And then we're ready to start building. And we're going to start by renaming the screen. Screen readers read these. We want to use real words with spaces for accessibility reasons. And then let's add in a gallery. I'm going to add in a blank horizontal gallery. This is going to be how people are going to choose where they want to go. So let's resize this to take up the middle of the app. And then we'll set the, well, let's create a, uh, a collection that we can use to populate that gallery. And so first thing, I've got all these models in GitHub. So I'm going to set a variable that's going to be my root GitHub location. So I don't have to repeat that throughout the rest of my data set. And then this collection, I'm going to call it model data, and I'm just going to paste it in here. And I'll provide a link to this as well in the description so that you can take this uh, outright as well. And this is going to be a link to the, uh, the image of each model, the 3D model itself, and a link to the artist that created it so we can give proper credit. And so then let's tie this to our model data collection. And let's just use the image uh, as the primary navigation. So I'm going to insert an image control in here. Resize it so it's a little smaller square. Set the template cell to match. Keep it a nice tight square. And then let's set this image to point to the image data in that collection I just created. So that's going to be uh, this item. This is the data source for this collection, this item.image. Now I need to prepend the GitHub location as well. So let's add in that var GitHub variable as well. Now this isn't doing anything yet because I haven't run app on start. So let's run that. And there we go. There's our images of the places we're going to go. Now let's make this a little easier to navigate on the phone. And so first let's hide that scroll bar. So we'll set show, nav show scroll bar to false. And then we're going to set show navigation to true. And that's going to turn on a little, uh, little arrow to the right-hand side that we can tap on with our finger and that will navigate this uh, gallery to the right. So now let's make these look like buttons. So we'll put a background color on it. We'll set the border radius to a high enough number so they turn into circles. And then let's uh, also indicate which one is selected with a border. And so to do that, let's turn on the border. We'll make them yellow. Let's set it to four. And then let's also set that border to only turn on on the selected item. So for border color, we'll make an if statement around it. We'll say if this item is selected, then we're going to make it yellow. Otherwise, we're going to set it to be transparent. And now whenever we select one of these, it gets a yellow border. So now let's set a background image on, uh, on our app here. So I've got a background image, which we'll lay in. And then let's also add a text label that will give credit to the artist so we can see the, the artist for the selected image. So we'll bring this label in here. It's black on black right now. That's not working for us. So we'll set that to be gray. And then we'll bring it down here. We're going to make it the whole width of the app and center it. And then for the text, we'll just uh, point to the artist here. So artist colon. And then from the selected item, so from gallery one dot selected. We've got the source and that'll link off to the source of the, uh, the artist, the artist page for the selected item. So next, last, we need to add on the mixed reality button We'll put it down here and we can tailor it to look a little more consistent with the rest of the app. So first we'll change it to go to NYC as the command, right? That's what you're going to actually be doing. And then let's set the background color to be more consistent. And let's also give it a yellow border. 
and let's round those edges as well. With the border radius, we just set it high enough to round them off. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to give this a source, and that's also coming from the gallery selected item. So for gallery one dot selected item dot source. Now this is again, this needs a GitHub prepended to it, so we'll also add in bar GitHub and prepend that as well. So using the ampersand to concatenate, and it didn't work. Let's try again. There we go. And so this should be ready to test out. So let's uh, save it and head outside to test it out. So here on my phone, let's launch Power Apps. Here's the app right here. And I can scroll between the different locations. And when I select one, right, I'll get the yellow border that we set. Let's load up this bench. Let's start by going there. And so that's going to download the model from GitHub. And then when it loads in the, uh, in the mixed reality control, I'll get dots when it recognizes the ground. I can tap it there. And now here I can walk around the bench in mixed reality. Right? So I can choose a, an appropriate place to sit while I wait for my subway. Some place that I feel comfortable actually sitting my butt down on. And then, of course, uh, when my subway arrives, right, I can choose the subway. Let's get on the subway car here once it loads. Again, I'll get the dots when it recognizes the ground, and I can place the model there. Now I'm inside a subway car. And then once we get to our location, let's go to Wall Street. We'll check out the bull. So it'll download this model from GitHub and it's loading it up. We'll place it on the ground in the mixed reality control. And now we're standing at the base of the bull statue. Right. My dog has a unique ability to see mixed reality and scared the heck out of him to see him go running by. And then finally, let's uh, go to the Flatiron building. So click on the Flatiron building, load it up. Place it on the ground once we see the dots. And now we are standing on the sidewalk of New York City at the base of the Flatiron Building. So this is an example how, you know, it's a fun example how you can use mixed reality. There are a lot of business uses up for this too, for placing items in your workplace or measuring them. Um, but I thought since we couldn't travel right now, this is a good use to try it out.